Hey guys, my name is Noria and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my nighttime skin routine. Um, this is when I'm just ready to call it a day. This is when I'm doing no mask, no special treatment. This is just my start to finish normal routine. It is a little product heavy just because my skin is weird and I just found that doing these steps actually helped me from breaking out. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So for today, I'm going to be using my favorite oil cleanser. This is the C. Buckthorn Best Skin Ever from uh, Living Libations. I love this stuff. Probably helps if I take off my glasses. But I like to give myself kind of like a oil massage every night. So I do about three pumps. And I just rub this onto my face. And I filmed today so there is eye makeup on. The first round I just like to rub this and I really like to give myself a nice kind of little facial massage with it. Depending on how much time I have is how long I will do it. Um, because I am wearing makeup today, I'm not going to do it as long just because I don't want to push that makeup into my skin. So I'm just going to wet that cotton round from our Earth Mother and I'm just going to go in kind of circular motions. Just kind of get that oil off my skin and then clean off my eyebrows, my eyes. So this is side one. I had on concealer today, so that's actually not too bad. Pro tip, don't forget your hairline. But yeah, that's meh. But reusable, so I can just throw these in the wash and these are good to go. So next, I'm actually going to cleanse my face with my uh, cleanser. This is the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins uh, Age Preventing Cleanser. cleanser from youth to the people. I've had this pretty much all year and I'm still right by all year. I meant all of 2012, 2012, wow, all of 2018. And yeah, I still have some more to go. So I just used one cup of that, a little water on my hands and wash my face. Then I just like to go in with my silicone brush and just massage it in. dry my face with a reusable muslin cloth. So depending on what I'm doing for the day, sometimes I don't always use the facial brush. Sometimes I would just use the washcloth, but because I was wearing makeup, a little extra step. So now that my face is somewhat dry, I'm going to move on to my toner. Nothing special. This is just a reusable bottle. Originally there was the Luvia um, cleanser in here, but I think there's just witch hazel in here now. So I'm not really too picky about my toners. I just want to make sure everything's off my face. So I just grabbed another reusable round and I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. And I'll wipe everything down. And that is exactly what I like to see, nothing on the round, so I know I'm good to go. Next, I like to spray my face with the Herbivore Jasmine Green Tea Balancing Toner. So you're like, why do I use two toners? It's because my skin prefers that I use two different things. Don't ask me, it just what works. Spray, and then I'll pat this one in. So the first one I use to just make sure that my face is clean. This one I actually press into the skin 
because I believe that one has some salicylic acid in it. And because I have acne skin, I have acne prone skin, this just helps. So after that, going on to one of my favorites, it's the Herbivore Prism. Uh, as you can see, this one is pretty much empty. I do have a few drops left though, so I normally do four drops of that. And I just rub that onto my face. Or pat that one onto my face. While that's still a little damp, I do like to kind of just put a little tap, push everything in, and then I immediately go into my hyaluronic acid serum. And this is from Art Natural. This is one of the only, well, I won't say only, but only, only of ones I've found recently that didn't have as many chemicals as the rest. So I think aside from the last two ingredients, which are preservatives, Actually, I only think I only want two preservatives in here. Other than that, nothing else. And I haven't found another hyaluronic acid that I liked that had, like, was all natural and barely had anything. So this is the closest I'm gonna get. I've noticed when I don't use hyaluronic acid, my face breaks out a whole lot more just because it stays dry and I have to compensate by producing more oil. Well, same as before, I just pat that in. And I know to some, this may seem like a lot of stuff, but I've actually come to associate my skincare nighttime routine as like me time, as a way to just kind of wind down for the day, to take care and pamper myself. So I actually like the amount of time that it takes me. It actually doesn't take too long, but it's a little lengthy. <laughs> so I let that dry a little bit. And then one of my favorite things to do, I love uh, rolling. This is a Jade Pro from the Jade Roller Beauty. And depending on how much time I have to dedicate to it, I'll just do this for a couple of minutes. Um, well, I'm not gonna do that long today just because I'm tired and I wanna go to bed. So just do a couple strokes. This is an average night, what I would do. I won't waste too long, but just enough to kind of release any tension I may be holding, especially around my forehead and around the eyes. And I like to use a smaller side to go in under the eye, across, and then across the brow bone. And that's what kind of just helps drain the lymphatic system and just kind of help push the products into the face. So next, it's a combo. Um, this is the Herbivore, eh, Herbivore uh, Emerald and then the Lapis Oil. This one's mainly for hydration. This helps with um, acne. So I mix three drops of the Lapis and then two drops of the Emerald. Rub that together. And pat in. Pat slash rub. I haven't mastered the art of just patting stuff into my face. Soon though, soon. <laughs> and finally, my last step, especially since I'm about to go to sleep, I like to put on a thick moisturizer. So currently I'm using the Eco Bella um, Night Rebuilder, their Ceramide 3. So this is all natural, gotta shake it. Put about two to three pumps, depending on what I feel that I need. I kind of aggravated that by rolling it, but that's fine. And I just rub this on the face. 
So that is it. That is my nighttime routine. Some stuff changed, depends on the day, but for the most part, this is what I do every day if I'm not using like a mask or steaming my face or exfoliating. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. If you want me to go into detail on any of the products that I use, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!